What's going on guys? So we're out here at another local pond fishing with uh, hollow bounty frogs again. Uh, my buddy Chad is over here off to the right. His wife finally let him come out and uh, fish with us again. So that's a good thing. If you guys notice, I, I got the depth finder installed on the kayak. So this is its uh, debut fishing trip. Um, average depth of this pond is somewhere around 15 feet. And unfortunately the pond has very, very thick vegetation that reaches up to around 10 feet. So it doesn't leave a whole lot of options for us uh, for fishing techniques. So topwater frogs, still good getting it, getting it done. And it's a fun way to fish anyway. It's still very, very warm outside. So that's why we're out here in the morning, uh, trying to get it done because it pretty much gets too hot to fish after about 11 o'clock. So hope you guys enjoy the video. All the clips are from the same pond, except for the very last clip in this video. So, uh, thanks for watching. Got him. There we go. Tell you what, that braid really makes it nice. Look at that. Went back in there and got him. Don't swallow it. There we go. Little, probably one and a half pounder, but he's chunky. Look at that. Nice fish. One in the boat, Chad. With that braid, it ain't messing around anymore, dude. <laughs> That's a good fish. Another one and a half pounder. It's nice because that hook set is not even nearly as massive as it used to be. Good fish, man. They're, they're chunky. Chunky fish. Look at how fat they are, dude. That's a 13, 14 inch bass that probably weighs about a pound and a half. He blew up on it twice. Which one are you using? Huh? Coppers. Get another one. Hey, Chadley. Ah, uh, he's all right. About the same size as all the other ones. Ah, 
he's a little bit bigger. He might weigh two pounds. I'll, I'll get a weight on him. Don't shake, don't shake. Don't you get hurt. Keep grabbing him so he won't shake and hurt himself. He's about one and three quarter. Good fish though. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh yeah. Smashed it. Make sure I'm recording. <laughs> All right, guys. So unfortunately, when I switched over on my camera to turn it off and then turn it back on, um, the video got some sort of interference from the sonar, and it made the audio completely unreadable. I mean, you, you couldn't hear anything. It was just a loud, loud buzzing sound. So um, here's the fish. Um, over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to release the fish, and if you kind of look down, you'll see some, they could be bass beds, but they're probably bluegill beds. You'll see them fanned out right there where all the where all the rocks are really cleared out, and there's several of them in this area right here. So could be what they're feeding on, uh, which is why they're so heavily, heavily stacked up in that area as far as the, the bass are concerned. Jeez. <laughs> he pulled that thing completely out. Wow. <laughs> He bit it like he was a six pounder, but <laughs> he's probably barely a pound. Not bad though, I'll take it.